There is no more private data. Our digital ID initiative has successfully enrolled 3 million individuals so far, with a goal of reaching 90 million. Under the undemocratic and ethnocratic rule of Abiy Ahmed's regime, where ethnicity and identity politics are at the core of everything, the surrender of sensitive personal data is extremely worrisome. Ethiopia ranks among the most undemocratic country in Africa, even by African standards. With technology in play, targeting, tracking, and monitoring individuals or specific ethnic or religion in real time becomes much easier. The program could have been designed in a less intrusive manner. There is no guarantee of data security or legal safeguards for its storage and use. This lack of legal protection grants Abiy and the ruling Oromo Prosperity Party government unchecked control over the collected information. Without accountability, the government has the power to decide how this data is stored, used, or accessed. Unlike passwords, biometric data cannot be changed once compromised, and there is widespread mistrust in the government's ability to protect it. In 2006, with American assistance, TPLF established the Information Network Security Agency, notorious for invasive spying on Ethiopians throughout the world. Under an ethnic quota system, Abi Ahmed was hired to the agency from Oromo Democratic Party. Over time, he took on various responsibilities within INSA and eventually served as acting director overseeing key operations and activities. Here was how Abby reflect about his time in agency with New Yorker journalist John Lee Anderson. After Abby's time in the military, he worked for the government in cybersecurity and intelligence and spent some time in U.S. training programs. In the Iraq war, I fought with them. I was the one who would send intelligence from this part of the world to the NSA on Sudan and Yemen and Somalia. The NSA knows me. I would fight and die for America. Ethiopia's Information Network Security Agency has made headlines for its invasive spying on diaspora Ethiopians including U.S. citizens. During his tenure with the TPLF, Abi Ahmed's invasive spying resulted in torture, imprisonment, and the suppression of dissent creating a climate of fear among Ethiopians. Now, he is a prime minister. He possesses both the experience and the need to maintain control, utilizing technology to transform the country into a surveillance state. Citizens must remain vigilant and take action to prevent Abiy from collecting invasive personal data. Abiy Ahmed bribed an Ethiopian-American named Abraham Teklu Lema, who was employed by the State and Justice Departments, to spy for him. However, Abraham was arrested on espionage charges. According to the criminal complaint, between approximately December 19, 2022 and August 7, 2023, Lima copied classified information from intelligence reports and removed the classification markings. He then took information classified as secret and top secret from secure facilities.
Abiy Ahmed is leading an increasingly oligarchic and ethnocratic government, where his ethnic group, the Oromos, controls all aspects of the nation. A system like this is bound to fail in the 21st century, leading him to resort to extreme measures to extend his reign for as long as he can.